Hello beautiful people all around the world. Here is Alexandre Frédéric Joly from the Agile Lounge in Montreal, Quebec. And I would like this week in celebration of Mike Beadle. Mike Beadle who was the co-signatory of the uh, Manifesto for Agile Software Development back in 2001. Also we could say a co-creator uh, as a great mentor and coach of Scrum. Uh, creator and founder of Enterprise Scrum and uh, this is exactly uh, what will be the video about so uh, and, and this week his birthday will be this Friday October 11th so he will have had uh, 57 years old and uh, as some of you already know I hope so unfortunately Mike um, uh, have been uh, uh, attacked in Chicago in March 2018 and It's gone uh, since then, but it's still our uh, guardian angel, our coach, and, uh, and our art and mine. And um, really, I, I was one of his students and really appreciate everything he taught me, uh, everything I share with him, and also uh, with uh, a lot of colleagues from Enterprise Scrum for Business Agility. And I take here the permission of re uploading a video made by Marina Alex. I will put all link in the description below for the original video on her channel of University of Business Agility. And I will also, of course, tag all my great dream team of Enterprise Scrum all around the world in this video from all Facebook group, LinkedIn, and so on to celebrate Mike's birthday. I think it's more important to remember their birthday when they passed away than the, 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 the day they, they left the earth. So... Mike, it's for you, and I'm really pleased to um, again uh, reproduce and re-upload a great work from Marina Alex again that film it and edit it. Uh, but I think uh, you deserve more attention because you're going to learn a lot more about um, Enterprise Scrum, the version 4.1. This is dated back for February of 2018, and I hope with other Enterprise Scrummies around the world. Uh, that we're going to continue this uh, great work because I truly believe in the value of this uh, empirical framework process to scale agility and scrum but it's even more than that it's really a, a new way of doing business with true uh, emphasis business agility for the customer and for the employees for the experience of actually any type of stakeholders for any business of any size so enjoy this great uh video that marina alex again did back in the day happy birthday mike i love you but uh, i am here to present to you guys version 4.1 of Enterprise Scrum. So Enterprise Scrum is a general purpose empirical process management framework, not only to do product development, but to agilize in the same way anything, sales, marketing, startups, compliance, portfolios, anything that you want to manage in an agile way is a general way to do agile management. It's also a framework for scaling not only software but scaling any other thing. You can scale up customer segment teams or business units or marketing and sales. You should be able to do that too and grow a unicorn within your dinosaur. Enterprise Scrum Origins go back to the year 2000 when we started scaling the enterprise architecture for CBS Kerber. So we did, that was just purely software development, right? And we grew up that enterprise architecture to about 30 concurrent applications to be deployed every two months. CBS Kerber is still using those patterns. People that do it, do it and do it well, and they have been doing it for a long time, you know. You may have heard of another little company by the name of Salesforce.com. Salesforce.com uses a style of management that is very agile. They call it internally adaptive. 
and so it is very similar to Scrum in nature, right? And again, Salesforce.com only grew 19 fold in the last 10 years. How would you like to be like Salesforce.com? <laughs> Hard to say no to that, right? And like that, there's many other companies. You may have literally heard of Spotify. Spotify is a Scrum managed company. And like that, there's many others. Cars.com, some sections of GE. We started to do uh, work with very many banks, uh, some sections of JP Morgan Chase. I mean, the list goes on and on and on and on, right? And in some companies, we insist in managing with outdated management techniques. Whatever they teach you right now in MBA schools are outdated management techniques that are not helping you in dealing with this kind of change. So this is why we need techniques like Enterprise Chrome, techniques that are synergized, that help you deal with faster change. Again, just to recap, it used to take 75 years to go from question mark, rising star, cash cow and dog. Now it takes seven years to go for those things. So you need a whole different set of techniques. There's just a lot of volatility, uncertainty, complexity and ambiguity in the world. It comes in the ways of disruption waves, business models, new management techniques, emerging markets or changing markets, technology, political, uh, economic or social changes, changes in the workspace, changes in terms of the customer regulatory. All these things are hitting us at once. So this is why we need a new way to manage why you decided to write Agile Manifesto in 2001? Because we have been doing Agile things for six years or so. Scrum was invented officially in the fall of 1993. And we had a lot of success with projects in Scrum, but the world wasn't paying attention. So we wanted to make some noise and get some attention that this was a better way to do things. Because a lot of people see Agile as a software thing. And if you look at it from that perspective, Agile is something that started officially on February 11, 2001 with the Agile Manifesto. In a world of rapid change, something that lasts 17 years, it may appear to you that Agile is old, 17 years old at least. On the other hand, the real agile impact, at least this is what some of us believe, is not what was accomplished in software, but the potential of agile as a new way of managing things. So some of us believe that agile management will be extended universally to other things. This is what some of us call business agility. And that is really a future where companies innovate faster. They test things faster in the market. They can adapt faster. They can manage their portfolios faster, put things, more things or less things, depending on opportunities. The real agility, the agility that is really going to potentially save your life as a business is not software agility. So, so let me tell you how the conversations go with sometimes uh, mm -hmm. with people, right? Well, Mike, the Agile Manifesto was written down, you know, 17 years ago. Agile is then something in the past. The Agile revolution was great, but now we're done with it. And then I'm thinking to myself, mm, you know, the, the real Agile revolution is this revolution, the business agility, before we did things that were agile, and that was great. I mean, it helped us uh, moving from getting stuck in technology or software development projects, but this is really the agility that will save your life as a business. Oh,